Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to play Goodbye My Lover by James Blunt and this was a request. Um, yeah, this was actually requested by, what's his name? Chris, uh, Chris Branders in response to my uh, Facebook question of, hey, I'm going to do tutorials, what do you want to talk? So yeah, Chris Branders, um, Goodbye My Lover, thank you for requesting. So yeah, I mean, not going to lie, it's a little bit of a sad song, but it's cool because we're going to think about happy things like bunnies and cute little ginger children and maybe about this huge bar of milker that I'm gonna eat after I do this tutorial. So that's making me feel very happy about, uh, about that. Anyway, so first of all, uh, this song is gonna sound like... Did I disappoint you? Or let you down? Should I be feeling guilty? Or let the judges run? Cause I saw the end before we'd begun. Yes, I saw you were blinded. I knew I had won. So, once again, reading the words over there, it's great. And I'm um, definitely... Feeling tag guilty about the chocolate, but it's going to be good. Okay, so um, you are going to need five chords for the song, and I'm sorry, two of them, some of them are bar chords, but there comes a time in one's life when you just have to start playing bar chords. You can't avoid them for all your life. So maybe today is today. So you are going to need an E, a C sharp minor, an A, a B, and a G sharp minor. So if you know how to play those chords, skip ahead, and if you don't, keep watching. So high E string, string one, low E string, string six. So to play E, you're going to put your first finger on the second, sorry, on the third string first fret, your middle finger on the fifth string second fret, and your ring finger on the fourth string second fret. So that's an E. To play an A, you're going to put your first finger on the fourth string second fret, your middle finger on the second string, sorry, on the third string second fret, and your ring finger on the second string second fret. Yeah, check out the boxes on my head. Hopefully they shall be right. So to play a B, kind of, I mean, I'm gonna call it like a partial bar chord because I don't play it like a proper bar chord. So you're gonna put your first finger on the fifth string second fret, and then your ring finger and your little finger on the third and fourth strings on the fourth fret. So I suppose, you can like push down all the strings with your first finger, but I kind of don't. So yeah, a B. So now to play a C sharp minor, what you're gonna do is you're gonna bar all the strings at the fourth fret with your first finger. Then you're gonna put your middle finger on the second string fifth fret, your ring finger on the sixth string uh, fourth fret, and your little finger on, is that on the sixth string? Total lie right there. Sorry, you're gonna put your ring finger on the fourth string sixth fret, and your little finger on the third string, sixth fret. Like I said, please check out the boxes, C sharp minor. Okay, so now to play G sharp minor, you're gonna bar all the strings at the fourth fret with your first finger. Then you're gonna put your ring finger and your little finger on the sixth fret of the fifth and fourth strings. It's G sharp minor. Okay, so um, there are four chord patterns for this song. And the thing to bear in mind is that all the chords are going to be held for four beats unless I say otherwise. So the chord pattern for the verse, I'll just split it into two parts. The first part, you have an E, a C sharp minor, an A, and then a B. And the second part, you've got an E, a C sharp minor, a G sharp minor, and then an A for two beats, and a B for two beats. So a quick reminder, the strumming pattern sounds like, oops, sorry. it sounds very like the start if you sped that up kind of like gives you hell which i've done tutorial for and it's a really cool song completely the opposite to this but check that one out anyway because all american rejects Ooh, anyway um so the strumming pattern you have so i'm going to split the strumming pattern once again into two um so you have three down strums down up down 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 up the second then the second part is up down 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 up up down 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 up so the whole strumming pattern, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. And that lasts for four beats. So you play that on all the chords you hold for four beats. All the chords, in, on the other hand, you hold for two beats, you're just going to do down strums on them. So it's just down, 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 up. And the down, up comes as you change between the chords. So I'll quickly just play that verse through with the strumming pattern for you. Um, actually, I'll just play the strumming pattern first, which is on the E. Down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. So now I'm going to play the verse for you. Down, 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 up, up, down, 
down, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. Down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. Into G sharp minor. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up. So that's the whole verse. And that whole chord pattern repeats twice, I believe. Okay, so then you get to the pre-chorus. Um, the pre-chorus is the bit that goes, you touch my heart, you touch my soul. Um, yeah, it's kind of random because this chord pattern is kind of similar to the verse, but it's not because there's an extra chord. So you've got an E, a C sharp minor, an A, and then you've got an A for two beats and a B for two beats. And then you've got an E, a C sharp minor, a G sharp minor, then an A for two beats and a B for two beats. So that last bit of the pre-chorus is actually exactly the same as the verse. So I'll just sing a little bit of that through for you with the strumming pattern. You touch my heart, you touch my soul, you change my life with all my goals. Love is blind and when I knew it, my heart was blinded by you. Did it with lips and held your head, shared your dreams and shared your bed. I know you well, I know you are small, I've been addicted to you. And then it goes on. So then we get to the chorus. The chorus is the famous bit, famous bit even, that goes goodbye my lover. The chord pattern for the chorus, um, so this is basically exactly the same as the first line of the verse. So that is namely an E, a C sharp minor, an A, and a B. And that whole thing repeats twice, and that's the chorus basically. And then the bridge is the bit at the end where it gets a little bit quiet. Everyone's getting a little bit tearful, a bit choked off at this point. Um, this is the bit that goes, and I still hold your hand in mine, in mine when I'm asleep. Blah, blah blah blah. So the chord pattern for this, you've got an A, a C sharp minor, a C sharp minor, a G sharp minor, sorry, a G sharp minor even, then an A for two and a B for two. So that's actually the second half of the verse chord pattern. Um, and that repeats twice. So yeah, maybe I wouldn't do a showing pattern in the bridge. Sorry, I have a really itchy nose right now. It's kind of giving me struggles. Anyway, but that's cool. Um, so yeah, so the deal with these chords, there's kind of basically like three chord patterns you have to learn and they're all mashed up and used in different orders throughout the rest of the song. So yeah, that is the whole song. So yeah, please comment, please share, please subscribe and please request. My lesson for the day, um, yeah, let we'll, we'll do a fact for a day instead. I believe it is something disgusting, like every bar of chocolate, just like a normal 125 gram or however much it is, or 75, uh, whatever, a normal bar of chocolate has on average eight insect legs in it. Eight. That is like, well, I suppose it depends what leg, I mean, how many legs the insect has. Like if it's like a millipede or a centipede, then I mean, they're cool. They still got quite a few, but eight insect legs. So it's kind of making me think, I mean, I'm definitely still gonna eat this big bar of chocolate, but how many insect legs I'm going to consume? Well, it's all added protein. That's all I'm going to say. So yeah, have a nice life with you. Please comment, please rate, please subscribe, and please request.